Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here today. My name is Jordan and I'm here to do a general tarot card reading for the Pisces Collective. These readings are general, so they may or may not resonate with you. If you find this video doesn't fit your story after a couple minutes, you know, don't be discouraged. I, I There was a reason why you clicked on this reading today, so I encourage you to check out another reading on my channel with a title that stands out to you. And I'm sure you'll find a message that you're looking for. Um, you don't have to be a Pisces to enjoy these readings, by the way. I just wanted to say thank you so much for liking, sharing, and commenting below. I appreciate all of your love and support. We're going to start by pulling some spirit animal cards. What is going on for my Pisces Collective? We have the cat spirit. This card says claim your independence. We also have mouse spirit. Tend to the small things. So your independence could be financial independence, emotional independence, independence from some type of hierarchy or or authority figure. And then tend to the small things and talk about details, the, the fine print, you know, contracts. And um, also I'm hearing being grateful for the small things as well. We have be at home underneath the bottom of the deck. Okay, let's see what's going on with the angel tarot. We have the Knight of Air coming out. This card says events that occur with great speed. Take time to carefully review your options and there are some creative solutions. That's a very positive energy. We have the Emperor, Archangel Michael. Organization and logic, structure and discipline, leadership. Usually the emperor can talk about a person, divine masculine, a father, a boss, an uncle, you know, a friend. Um, but it can also be uh, an authority figure in your life. I also like to interpret the Emperor, Emperor card on a personal level as your achievements, you know, what is required for you to reach the top in some form of goal or um, uh, obstacles that you're facing. You know, it, it requires organization, it requires logic, it requires structure and discipline. It's about taking initiative. We have underneath the bottom of the deck Nine of Fire, which says don't give up, protect that which you've created, have courage, and believe in yourself. All right, let's see what the tarot has to say. Ooh, it looks like there might be a uh, communication and love here. We also have something that's coming back around full circle. Maybe something's coming in from long distance. This has been blocked for some time, but you're reaching a completion point now. Um, some type of doorway is opening here for you. All the right necessary conversations and meetings and manifestations have happened now in order for you to move forward victoriously from whatever chapter you've closed. Probably a chapter in love. We have the Wheel of Fortune. That's a very strong start. We have the Page of Swords reversed. We have the Eight of Cups reversed. 
We have the Five of Cups in the this recent past. And we have the Death card in the distant past. Three of Wands in the future. We have the Queen of Wands representing you and the star card reversed in your environment. We have the seven of wands in your fears and desires. And the king of swords reversed as the outcome. We have the six of pentacles reversed as the overall energy. Sometimes the pentacles can talk about time and with the six of pentacles talking about the flow of money and time and creation itself. Um, it's almost as if some, some type of resource that you had is no longer available to you. Um, you may have been cut off from some form of resource or connection with somebody uh, this may have happened suddenly um, and this caused a lot of grief but you've moved forward and you've learned lessons and you've learned new skills and you've had to communicate with um, you had to watch your words you had to be careful about what you manifested. It's almost as if you knew that um, in order for you to have successful changes in your life, you'd have to switch your mindset, you know, and be grateful, be positive. Um, you have to be confident that what you want, your wish fulfillment, is available to you even if you've been cut off from some form of resource or relationship or a sense of security. You know, maybe there was a death of a, of a parent in your past or a grandparent. Maybe you lost a job. Maybe you lost your ability to work. Um, and I, and it's, you've, you've been having to stay on top of things. You've been having to push forward and it's required a lot of energy. You've had to defend yourself. You've had to uh, fight for your position. There is a King of Swords here. And I have the Queen of Wands kind of glancing over her shoulder almost towards this King of Swords reversed. And between the two cards are the Star reversed and the Seven of Wands. So between these two people is... Uh, expectations and hopes and dreams have been uh, blocked or overridden or uh, trampled upon when it comes to you and an individual. Um, it's just there's been forces working against you and this individual from seeing the same thing from agreeing upon the same thing, from coming together into union. Um, forces of nature have been keeping your path separate. That's what I'm getting from these seven of wands and the star reverse between the two cards. And this person is, is fed up. They're reaching a point where um, you may be looking at them and 
uh, I'm hearing the words pity, like maybe you're feeling bad for this person. Um, maybe they're going through a lot right now. But you have to worry about yourself first. You need to focus more on yourself is what I'm getting here, Pisces. Someone might be uh, their own worst enemy. And maybe there are things working against them. And then maybe this is affecting your relationship with them. Maybe not. But um, there's concern. It's almost like you're seeing an animal bite its own tail. That's what I'm getting as an imagery here. A cat biting its own tail. Um, and This person is resisting some type of ending in their life. But what's coming in the future is uh, good luck, abundance. Your situation's changing. What you've been working towards is going to start manifesting. And uh, plans from the universe are happening for you now. You know, like your spirit guide's plan for you is finally coming into fruition. And this person that we're talking about might need help, might need support, might need fi finances. And there's nothing you can do, is what I'm hearing. There might be something you can do, but, you know, you know, when you were cut off from your resources, the universe helped you find a new pathway. And a lot of it had to do with your own effort, your own healing, and your own releasing of your ego, you know? And this person has to learn and release their own ego and face and confront some of the darker parts of themselves. So it's almost like you're watching somebody go through something that maybe you went through. And it's hard. But I also see that you have confidence that this person's going to make it through. Even without your help. So something with that Knight of Swords here. Events that occur with great speed. This situation is uh, happening to this person, whatever they're going through, they're, they're having to face themselves and face the reality of their own destructive behavior. And this is going to help them build themselves back up again with the Emperor card here. And because you've had to face yourself and really tap in deep and build yourself up from some life-changing event in the past um, you're gaining your independence you're gaining uh, rewards with that wheel of fortune here So if we look at the individual card pairings, we have the Wheel of Fortune and the Three of Wands. This is a cycle. 
the Wheel of Fortune is a cycle, and the Three of Wands tells it that it's repeating. It's coming back around again. Um, but because we have the outcome opposite of the Three of Wands in the future, with the outcome is the King of Swords reversed, I feel like this lesson is coming back around for that person. I feel like you've already unlocked your lesson because the Wheel of Fortune is upright and you're in Queen of Wands status, which is also upright. But then we have the Page of Swords reversed and we have the Queen of Wands. So this person's on your mind. You're thinking about them. You're trying to come up with solutions. You're trying to think of how you can provide support, wisdom, help. Um, but you don't have enough information. In fact, communicating with this person might even cause some damage. Might prevent them from finding their own path. With the Eight of Cups reversed and the Star card reversed, though that does talk about your spiritual pathway, you know. And when we stray far from our path, the universe has to kind of slap us around a little bit to get us back on track. And I feel like that's what's happening to your person here. We have the Five of Cups reversed and we have the Seven of Wands here. Um, this is when that talks about overcoming grief that talks about overcoming um rotten feelings is what i'm hearing and just and remember whatever you've overcome this person's going to overcome it too so maybe they're going through some rotten feelings right now maybe they're feeling horrible um yeah i'm getting that this person feels horrible right now they're just not having a good time and they're, uh, with the Death card and the King of Swords reverse, that's very dangerous. Energy combo, that's somebody who um, is not in the right state of mind to be making decisions that will change their life forever. Um, so the universe is putting a stop and putting a blockage, Seven of Wands, in this person's pathway in order to get them to stop and think and reevaluate. And we talked about, you know, the Knight of Swords earlier saying, take time to carefully review your options. Uh, that's what this person's going to have to do. And they were not taking time to review their options. They were trying to control and manipulate their situation without realizing the consequences. You know, um, or maybe they just were unaware of what they were doing. The Six of Pentacles reverse as the overall energy is that charity energy. Um, and it's a caution to not overgive in this situation. Okay, that's what I've got for this reading today. Thank you for being here, and I'll see you again soon.